What will you put if you had a string in your hand? Whatever you got, that's all you can put. So Patanjali left it like this, it's a very supreme intelligence. He just gave the thread and said, every master will add what he's got. So the practice is structured and always when you structure a practice, it's not just a mechanical thing, you have to breathe life into it. So a certain kind of practice with a certain number of whatever, now it is a package which is alive, it's a living thing. It is not just living here in the air. If you take it into yourself, it will live within you because it's like the virus. Virus needs you, it can't just live by itself. It needs your cells to get into and then multiply. By itself, it can't just go on, multiply and live in the air. Just like this, the practice is a certain structure. It needs you to live in you. Now you do something else, you're tweaking it to become a demon of some kind. Don't do such things. If… if something is given to you, uh, somebody reads a book and makes up something or what is written in the book they teach you, that is different. When a live process is given to you, just stick to it as it is. If I give you an ant with eight legs, you say, can I put twelve legs on it or can I take away four legs from it? What is that? It's a live, living thing, you can't do that. That's how it is structured. So, uh, twenty-one times, if you're finding twenty-one is too much, it's living you little like that, do twelve. Mm -hmm. Sadhguru, the next question is from Catherine. Namaskaram Sadhguru, I remember you mentioning that inner engineering book is a tool for personal transformation. I can see many changes within me after reading death book. Ooh. I wanted to know if death book is also a tool on spiritual path. This is trouble. Inner engineering is a tool, death is a tool. <laughs> no. <laughs> death is not a tool, but the death book has come together to bring an unadulterated understanding of a very important dimension of our life, which is our mortal nature. I'm saying unadulterated because normally it is very adulterated. When somebody dies, normally the words used are uh, daiva dina rag agivittaru, that means somebody went and sat in God's lap. This is adulteration. Somebody is telling you uh, they went to their heavenly abode. This is adulteration. They're telling you things which will give you some sense of solace so that you will become willing to die. You must either die consciously because you have completely accepted death as a part of life or you must fight it. You should not uh, welcome it thinking you're going to heaven. That's adulteration. So the death book is structured in such a way, it's unadulterated. 
looking at death simply the way it is. And it's many dimensions. Well, a little bit of decoration we've created so that it doesn't become too scary for people who uh, don't have a discerning mind. Every thought pops up as emotion in a whole lot of people. Every thought drips emotion. For such people, facts of life will be very disturbing. So one way is to walk them through this process so that by the time they come to the last page, to some extent they're little more uh, dispassionate about it. If you think you're going to heaven, you may be compassionate about death, which is not good. Passion is for life, dispassion is the way you must handle death. If you become passionate about death, you will go soon. Yes, whatever you're passionate about, you tend to move in that direction, isn't it? So, it's very important that the death book should be read in the right context. This is a wonderful time to read it because this is the sort of book that you must sit by yourself and read as much as possible in a day. If you read bits and pieces over thirty days, you may not feel what it is. You may pick up a few facts and tips out of it, which is not the way to read it. You must read it as much as possible like in one sitting, so that it goes and sits in you like a lump and then you slowly digest it. Then you integrate death into part of your life because anyway you are living death. That's the way to read it. So when would ever… when would you ever get two, three weeks uninterrupted just to sit and read? It's a good time to do it. It's a very good time to do it. Mortality is staring in our face. Unfortunately, uh, in countries like United States, in United States, it's crossed three thousand mortality. Infections, I think, have gone around fifty thousand. Spain is racing. Italy kind of slowed down a bit, I think. But they're telling me once again there are outbreaks in Shanghai. Uh, so, in many ways, the entire world's population is right now strongly reminded of their mortal nature. Good time to read the book, the death book, the inside story only for those who shall die. <laughs> limited market, you know, very limited market, only for those who shall die. We didn't think but uh, this is the most appropriate book to release at this time. Yoga, 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 Swaraya, Bhuta, 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 Swaraya, Kala, 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 Swaraya, Shiva, Shiva, Sarah.